Welcome back to the channel guys. In this one we are looking at CCIV or Churchill Capital Corp or potentially soon to be Lucid Motors. Now the merger is not confirmed yet but there is a lot of speculation and this has driven the price in the past five days by a significant amount. If we do have a quick look on the Friday alone the share price increased by about 26% which is a really big gain we can see and even over the past month we've seen really big increases in price all the way from about $18 up to about you know the current price of almost $40 so it's gone up by over 117%. It's a really big increase but tonight we talk about how significant it is and why this one could potentially explode in the future. Well guys of course I am not a financial advisor and this is for entertainment purposes only but with that being said if you will enjoy it please leave a like and subscribe because we are trying to grow the channel as fast as possible. On top of that if you want to come talk to us on discord you can down below uh, the link is completely free and on top of that if you would like to support the channel you can do that as well by pressing the join button it is located next to the subscribe button. With all that being said let's not waste any more time we're going to jump straight into this episode and have a look at this company. So yes guys, CCIV stock mainly over the past uh, 30 days has seen quite a lot of volatility. The question now is, is this stock overpriced or should you buy it? Well for sure I'll be waiting to see what happens with this one tomorrow. I would be anticipating a drop in price and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. We have rocketed up by over 20% in one day so for this one to drop tomorrow would not be the worst thing in the world but I think there is a lot of interest around this stock and that is certainly the case and of course if you want to know why there is a potential merger going, with, going on with Lucid Mode and of course this is one of those stocks which has seen a lot of attention even before this merger has been officially announced. Now currently it's only speculation that this one is going to merge but the fact that it's rocketed up by such a significant amount just shows how much interest there is in these EV companies. I think when it comes to SPACs or mergers or in general the most attention does usually go on electric vehicle companies whether it's Chargepoint, whether it was Helion or companies around that sector. Basically these ones get a lot more attention than some of the other SPACs. Is that a bad thing? Absolutely not, and I think it definitely provides a new opportunity for this stock to definitely explode going forwards and potentially see the price rocket even further. So, of course, if you do want to have a quick look at what the company does, just to summarize it on their website, they are a car company, an electric car company as well. You can see one of the models on screen right now. It is called the Lucid Air. Picture of it down there, whether you like it or not, and it is valued at around $69,000. So, kind of expensive, but there is still room in the market for more electric car brands to come along. I think that is what people are seeing with with this stock. I think a lot of people, generally speaking, when they see a new EV stock come onto the market, they see it as the potential next Tesla, or the next Neo, even, or the next Xpeng, all of these EV stocks which have exploded because of a lot of hype around them. And I don't think that is a bad thing. Of course, we've seen Tesla stock rocket and rocket and rocket. People were saying for years that it's going to come down in price. And so far, it is still doing absolutely amazingly. So it just shows that the potential is there for this stock to be another one in the industry, which could pop going forwards. And of course, another thing which I want to draw your attention to is according to Fintel.io, we can see the amount of institutions which actually hold this stock. So of course, just looking at the number of shares from the greatest to the smallest, we can see that a few companies that you may or may not have heard of are holding in this stock we can see that the largest position is about five uh, almost six million shares the second largest is almost five million shares and then the third largest is four million shares so a lot of in investors or at least institutions are holding this stock i think that's very interesting i think a lot of people are seeing a lot of potential with ccv going forwards and you know what as well the fact that so many institutions are holding this one as of current and of course this is according to fintel.io the fact that so many institutions are holding this in my opinion at least shows so much potential for this company going forwards. Guys, the institutions, generally speaking, research very well what they invest in. I think that the amount of institutions we see this one has having some big potential is quite indicative of what we might see going forwards. So I think CCIV as a company, if that merger does become official, is definitely a decent play. I think at the current price, I definitely would like it to drop by a few more cent, hopefully into the, high, uh, the low $39 range. I think if we can remain in that area, if we can definitely drop to that area on Monday, we'll be seeing a lot of potential potential going forwards for this stock. So guys, would I buy CCIV? Absolutely I would, but I definitely need to consider the fact that it is a speculative play and I think you should be aware of that as well. But overall guys, I definitely would put one or two shares onto this one, maybe a few more if you are that optimistic, but I think it depends how much hope you have for this company. I think leading up until that potential merger, it definitely could rock it, but of course that is, you know, guaranteeing that we have got a merger and right now there is no guarantee there and that is something which people do need to be aware of. So overall guys, there is some potential for this one to merge for sure 
before. I think it definitely could see an explosion in price if that was to happen. But right now, it is still a speculative play as you are basically just betting on the fact that it will or will not merge. Personally, I believe it is likely that it will. But of course, nothing is guaranteed yet. But of course, if you are willing to take that risk right now and invest in this one before the majority or at least a lot more people invest in this one as that merger becomes official, you definitely could reap the rewards in profit. But it's definitely up to you guys what you are going to do with this one going forwards. I definitely think it could be a buy, but it is risky. Please do tell me down in the comment section what you are doing, whether you think it's risky or not, whether you think it is going to merge. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Other than that, though, we are going to be looking at CCIV very soon into the future. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on that episode. Other than that, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye until then.